Hey guys, it's time to do the video because it's September the 10th where I am at the moment and I think it's almost just 12 hours away until Apple will unveil new iPhones and that's super awesome! New iPhones! Fuck yes! Yes, that's gonna be awesome. So what can you expect coming out? That's what I want to talk about today. So we're expecting two new iPhones in the iPhone 5s which is going to be a speedier, ver a faster version uh, than the iPhone 5. That's why you, ha you hear the S in the name, same as Apple had done in the past, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4S, speed improvements, camera improvements, and sometimes something more like RAM improvements. Then we are expecting another iPhone coming out. Oh yeah, do you know what that kind of iPhone is? Yeah, it is the, um, uh, the iPhone 5C. And no, the C doesn't stand for cheap. It probably stands for probably colors. This is a picture that Apple did send out the invitation and you can see all of those colors. Yeah, you can see it if we go down a little bit like this, they have a text which is saying this should brighten everyone's day. So let's talk a little bit about the specs. <coughs> okay, so let's start off here with the iPhone. What can we expect? The iPhone 5 I mean. Uh, the first thing that we're expecting is on the back side uh, that we will see dual LED flash which would make better low light performance from the camera. So camera improvements uh, is what we are expecting uh, and also it seems like they won't bump up the megapixels to 13, it seems like they will stick to 8 megapixel uh, but this would mean a better low light performance and then uh, uh, they, that they would change the aperture from uh, from um, 2.4 in the iPhone 5 to uh, to 2.0 in the iPhone 5s, and the aperture uh, that's the thing that I think that uh, controls how much light it will let in. So that should make some better pictures. Also, in terms of the software, we are rumored to see uh, that in, in the software in the camera app we might see a slow motion mode coming and then if we talk about processor it seems like we're gonna bump up from A6 to, uh, to, 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 to this new A7 so um, around 31% better uh, CPU performance, a speed improvement hopefully in earlier iPhones they seem to be going 50% each, uh, each time so it seems like it could be a little lower this time and then we do have this thing that in the home button around here we're gonna have some kind of fingerprint sensor. Now there was a rumor that you would be able to pay stuff with that but it seems like you will have this fingerprint sensor here, a little bit of a ring maybe down here uh, that will you will be able to unlock your device by holding in the home button a few seconds. Now I'm not sure how this fingerprint sensor, how good it will be in terms of security Hopefully it will be good though. Then we have this thing that it could come in a light gold yellow color and then a, maybe a graphite color. The pricing will probably be the same as the iPhone 5 because there's really not that much that they have changed. Uh, but we could see a 128 gigabyte model of the iPhone 5s coming out and that would definitely be pretty cool. Uh, if, you, if you do ask me. And then we do have the iPhone 5 say Yes, I don't have any more on the iPhone 5. Yes, maybe we'll see something more in 12 hours or something. Maybe, maybe. The iPhone 5C. No, C doesn't stand for cheap. It stands for color. This is my iPod Touch. Uh, but the iPhone 5C is almost rumored to have kind of like an iPod Touch iPhone 3G design. Uh, very, very rounded off design, but with the plastic back, uh, but with the internals of the iPhone 5, so very very good internals. The pricing would still probably be kind of expensive, some people have been calling it the budget iPhone. It's probably not gonna be that much budget. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, but what it's also gonna come with, I mean, plastic back, uh, colors, a ton of different colors. Uh, gold, yeah, no, not gold, but like yellow, red, and all of those cool colors. That's why you see all these colors here. That's probably all the color that you will see with a plastic back that you will be able to have on the iPhone 5C. So with the iPhone 5 uh, hardware, internal hardware, we're probably gonna see some pretty, pretty nice performance from that phone. Uh, of course, my Apple Touch here is more slim. The iPhone 5C is probably gonna be thicker, definitely, because, I mean, it's a phone, and... Uh, 
and that's 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 yeah that's expensive uh, or I mean yeah that's that's just the way it is now this I have a touch 32 gigabyte RAM it's pretty expensive so if they're gonna do an iPhone 5c with better internals the iPhone 5's internals is probably gonna is, is gonna be expensive okay it's gonna cost money and uh, I, I can't tell that for sure it's gonna be expensive but uh, that's what we are expected to say and then we also might see something maybe a new upgrade iPod touch probably not a new iPads is expected to come in October. Same with Apple TV, that we might see something software-wise with that, but we aren't really expecting that much about it. Uh, so um, that's what we're expecting. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, <laughs> we have to see. Hopefully, Apple could uh, pop up something new that hasn't been leaked already. I want to see something fun. Yeah, have a good day.